Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom and I am here with you today to do an angel message reading for Libra season. So yesterday we changed into Libra season. So let's see what the season holds for us all. I'm going to get an angel reading done here and pull on the energies of Libra. I have said my prayer called in my spirit guides and they will be with us. And today, September 24th, is the birthday of my son and sister. He was born on her birthday. Two miracles in my life. So happy birthday to them and all the other Libras out there this season. Hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful birthday season. All right, angels. What energies are going to be around for Libra season? What do we need to pay attention to? What's coming our way this Libra season? We need to know, spirits. Neighbor season. Okay. Bottom of our deck is animals and companionships. And this is a three energy. Right? So you may be somebody who gets great enjoyment from animals. Maybe animals are drawn to you, and if so, that just speaks to your spiritual energy you carry. Animals are very spiritual, and they, when they approach you and they come towards you, know that it's because they sense a calming and spiritual energy within you, okay? So a beautiful energy here, somebody connected to animals and maybe animal spirits as well. And that's a three. We have north and expansion, right? We're expanding our energy. We're expanding on a path. We're growing. We're building. And that is our first ace. And the aces haven't been too big in the last couple of angel readings. We have life and breath, right? And this hasn't come out in a couple of readings. And it's been in most of the readings um, that... You know, the, the deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, holding it for a few seconds, releasing it. It calls in your spiritual energies so that they can communicate with you. And aside from that, you're bringing in much needed oxygen to your blood, to your internal organs. It helps you release energies and purge them out at the same time. So, so much can be happening with breath work. So give it a try sometime. And this is a nine. We have marine life and richness, and this is a five. Just look at all those aquatic animals there, enjoying a day in the bottom of the ocean, all getting along, sharing space, sharing food, sharing happiness and joy, right? And this is my wish for the world, that up here on land we would see the same things, feel the same things, be accepting of each other, share our resources with each other, get along as different as we all are. If they can do it in the ocean, we can do it out of the ocean. And that is a five. We have earth and home, and this is a six. And this energy has been around pretty much all summer. And now it's into the fall, right? Feeling at home with who you are, feeling connected to nature, 
Queen of Cups and uh, Queen of Pentacles energy here for me always. Somebody really tapped into nature spirits, maybe tapped into Gaia, right? Feeling at home, feeling um, comfortable within one's skin, feeling comfortable with Earth. Um, maybe you're moving, maybe somebody's coming home to you. Maybe you're thinking about moving, going somewhere else. It's such a broad energy here, this energy of home. But for today's reading, I'm really sensing someone confident and comfortable in who they are and with this connection to earth. And that is a six. We have mountain and clarity, right? Um, this is a seven, right? Getting clarity on this mountain, something you've been trying to accomplish or tack, uh, or get over, get through, get on the other side of. And you might finally be making some real ground on this, getting a control over it. You're getting clearer and clearer about it all the time. And that's a seven. We have moon in darkness, and this is a seven. And the moon is a feminine energy. But it's about our deep emotions. It's about hidden energies, things we can't see that are maybe out of view for us right now. And we're healing and we're getting through the darkness. And that is a seven. And that comes in under that clarity, right? Maybe somebody getting clear on those darker energies in their life. We have desert and solitariness. And this could be somebody that just spends a lot of time alone. Maybe you spend a lot of time alone. Maybe you enjoy spending a lot of time alone. Or maybe you feel like all of your opportunities and options have dried up. And if that's the case, there's an oasis out for you, out there for you. Something will change. You'll have inspiration or clarity come in. You'll think of something. You'll have some brilliant idea here that's going to get you out of this dry desert, out of this solitariness. And that is a four energy. We have a seven energy with voice and speaking your word, right? Right now, someone's very passionate and fiery and putting her voice out there, speaking her word, putting it out there, putting her passion and creativity out there, telling the truth, using her voice for the good, for a purpose. And that is a seven. So right like that, seven, seven, seven. Three cards for seven right there. Seven, seven, seven in our reading. We have plants and growth, and this is a 10 energy, right? Putting your efforts into something, growing something, and it's really taking root now. It's really starting to show flowering. Harvest of something maybe coming, I'm feeling here. Ten. And then we have music and joy, and this is a ten. And maybe you're somebody who gets great enjoyment from music, and I am. I love having the radio on. I love hearing music and so many different kinds of music. And maybe you're someone that gets messages in music. I know I do. I often wake up with a song in my head, um, and maybe that happens to you. And when it does, have a notepad by the side of your bed so that you can write it down. Because we always say we're going to remember, remember, and sometimes we forget. And I know I do too. <laughs> so, and this is a 10. Okay, so a nice start to our reading here. So, so far we're missing twos and eights from here, but we have a large 7-7 seven, seven energy. Three cards right off the bat, everyone else is a one. So big message in sevens already here in the reading. So let's take Wisdom of the Oracle and get into the soul of some energies here. And Spirit Guides, what is going on in Libra season? What does the collective need to be aware of?
glue. Anything else, Spirit? Okay. The bottom of our deck is a leg up, and this is a seven energy. Maybe, um, Spirit coming in with a little bit of help to boost you along or a friend or somebody giving you a leg up in some way. And that's another seven here. Okay, we have a nine energy with Treasure Island, right? Um, we have a turtle with this chest full of love and money and spiritual energy and it's on its way to you some kind of help and support some kind of gift or surprise coming in for you and this is a nine and a reminder to do that breath work right that spiritual talk we have observer and this is a four energy somebody um, just observing, watching and waiting, seeing what's going to happen, keeping their eye on the prize, right? Watching out for things. And that's a four. We have clean it up and this is a three. And this is really about cleaning up your energy, right? Letting go of anything that's holding you down, holding you back. We're all going to do a collective release of energies right in Libra season and that's what the fall is about right releasing energies letting things go um, not you know staying out of the past staying in in the future but cleaning up your spaces getting more organized cleaning up a situation in your life clean it up right whatever it is for you clean it up and that is a three and we have chop wood, right? And you might be in this energy of work, 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 work. Get it done. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get this work done. I want to get this work done. You may be really committed on a path here. And that's what I'm feeling for somebody. And this is a six. And we have here and now, right? A five. Staying in the present moment. Staying out of the past. staying out of the future right there's nothing there in the future it hasn't been built yet and the past well it's ghost land there's not nobody there's no situation left there to go and fix there's nobody to go back and talk to right the only thing you have is today no one is guaranteed anything more than today if you woke up today you're here today right and that's all we have that's all we know don't miss out on today, waiting for tomorrow. And we have not for you. Nope. Something is not for you. Spirit saying no. Whatever you, whatever it is you're hoping for, whatever you want, whatever it is, it, the answer is no. Not now, anyways. And this is a six. So maybe something you were thinking of and poised and ready to receive and this is a three energy right you've done the healing you've done the work you've put the effort in and you're ready to receive and this is a three energy we have a change is in the wind and this is a three energy
we have to the sea and that is a seven energy and we have the thinker and this is a 44 and somebody putting a lot of time in doing some deep thinking trying to figure things out for themselves okay so we have something not for you and we have this energy of cleaning up getting to work some kind of magical energy coming in here for somebody else so let's take the enchanted map for today's reading what do we need to know in libra season here bottom of our deck is spark and that's like having a spark of genius you're going to spark something something's going to happen in your life you're going to get a spark or you're going to give somebody else a spark that's going to set them ablaze set set them off on something and this is that seven energy right Okay. Okay, there's an energy around you that is in a deep freeze, right? They're non communicative, they're not talking. They're not communicating in any way. They're just in a deep freeze. They're like in a winter. So let them be in the winter here. And that's an eight. We have an 11 heal the ouch, right? So you may have been hurt in a situation. Someone's here to give you a little first aid to nurture you back to health here, right? You got to heal that ouch in you. You know, if you get triggered by someone or something happens and you're triggered, that's a sign to you that there's an energy within you that needs healing. Because nothing anyone says or does should really trigger us or hurt us, right? And if we feel pain from something so intently like that, we know that's an energy within us that needs to heal. Okay. And that is our first 11 today. We have metaphors. Metaphor and I, I just did a daily reading before this and the train went through and that's about transformation and that's what metamorphosis is right you've emerged um, from the cocoon and you are the butterfly now you're free and you're beautiful and you're flying um, and that is a seven you've gone through a huge metamorphosis here We have compass, and I have to look at this energy. I'm not quite sure what this one is. It hasn't been out. As long as you orient your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. You're entering uncharted territories right now and can expect wonderful new experiences. To stay on the highest path of your destiny, you'll need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or a higher power can serve this function. Money, prosperity, prestige, romance, and other material achievements can help you find your true path. 
They are simply things you may experience along the journey. Know that spirit is working in your life, so even if you feel lost temporarily, it will be easy to find your way. Have faith and trust for your compass with spirit as true north will ensure that you'll never be lost, even on the starless night when all seems dark. So are you on your true north? Are you facing your destiny, your calling, your mission in life? And if you are, even if things aren't exactly the way you want them now, trust that spirit's working in concert with you and that things will be okay. It will all work out. You just have to stay patient. Okay, and that is a five. We have 20, and this is flying, right? And this is about rising above it all, right? Fly over your life. Look down on it. What do you see? Get a higher perspective. Get a different perspective. Look beyond the mundane. Realize all the vast potential you have in the world. And that's a two, in our first two today. And the dragon's lair, and this is a ten. And I forget this energy too, I apologize. So let's take a peek at this energy too, okay? You are always protected and divinely directed. You have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment. You're about to enter, enter dangerous territory, so tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings. The path you're on now is one that will challenge you to the core. That said, peril is also exciting and exhilarating, like the danger you feel before you enter a new relationship, knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life lived fully isn't lived only in a safety. A new experience is calling to you, one that will test your courage. The choice is yours, but there is greater value in risk-taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be discovered. Wow, so I think that's a little bit of encouragement from Spirit saying, look, you may think that you're taking real risks here. You're about to be in dangerous territory, uncharted territories. Are you ready for this? Is this what you really want? Or is this not for you? Okay. That's a 10. And gentle gardener. This is a 2. And you can see the face of spirit there in the clouds coming out of the heavens. Right? And this is an energy of you've been planting seeds along the way on your journey in your life. And spirit sees those seeds you're planting and they nurture them until they crack open and they're ready to be received by you. And I see this energy of poised and ready to receive here. So know that no wish, no seed you plant is wasted ever. It is nurtured by the spirits and grown and hatched when the time is right. And that is a two. And then we have dry desert. And this is the second reference to desert, right? And this is about the oasis appearing, right? Just when you think all of your ideas or your efforts or your opportunities are dried up, there it appears, and it won't be a mirage. It will be real. So keep thinking. Keep putting your creative juices in there. Keep coming up with it. You're going to have a great idea here. Opportunities are going to start opening up. And that is a four. And we have the energy of home again, right? Being at home, maybe home is coming in question for you. Maybe you're not sure where you belong anymore. Um, maybe the home you're in is not for you anymore. Maybe it's time to make think about making a move and get to work on a move of some kind. Maybe where you are now is is was right for you at one time, but maybe you've outgrown it in some way. And maybe it's time to look for another home in some way. And that's a nine. And that's, you know, where that magical energy is. Maybe spirit's going to come in with some opportunity re relative to 
home in some way, okay? So we'll see what that is. We'll see what comes out here. Let's take... our Cosmic Journey deck. What do we need to know here, Spirit for Libra Season? Bottom of the deck is a nine, and you contain the entire universe encoded within your DNA, right? When we're all born, we are gifted with the DNA of our ancestors, the people that have come before us, and that DNA is encoded with things that are unique and special to each of us. That's a nine. Quite a few energies came out here. Okay, we have ask wonderfully and receive graciously, okay? Talk to your spirit guides, talk to the universe, ask graciously, receive, okay? It's a four. Right, and that comes out with that dry desert. Please, universe, <laughs> and whatever you're, and I'd be oh so grateful if I could have some help here now in my situation. We have, you will only see the way by making the way. And this is an 11, right? You've got to take the risk. You've got to take the step. And once you take the first step, the next step becomes clear and so on and so on and so on. And you only know the way by, is by making it. You've got to determine your own path, your own pace. And the universe, you're not doing it alone. You have the support of the universe behind you on this path, okay? They're there. It's supporting you. It's fast. It's capable. And it's be in your corner. We have Divine Dragon. And this is always a special energy here. This is um, ancestral energy. Uh, a dragon, an angel energy that is helping you step into your power and achieve more in your life. And this is a four energy. There are no wrong turns. And no matter what direction you choose to go in, it's not wrong. It might be different, but it's not wrong. And no matter what road you choose, Spirit's going to be right there with you, guiding you and leading you, okay? And this is a nine. You cannot pour from an empty cup, right? You can't. You have to get the rest you need. Sleep is so important, and we're learning more and more about sleep from a medical standpoint. But so much regeneration happens with your body when you sleep, and if you're not getting the rest you need, you certainly can't be there for the other people in your life or in the world, okay? So do take self-care really seriously, okay? And that is an eight. We have right into this reality, right? Today is the reality. It's the only reality we have is the present moment. So what do you want to make of the day? Write down your thoughts about today. Make a plan for today. Write into the reality of today. 
and that is a five. And it's funny, the compass energy is right under, right above that. We have deliver your greatest gift to the world. And what is your greatest gift? Are you delivering your greatest gift to the world? No matter what path we're on, no matter what work we do, there's always an opportunity to give a gift that's uniquely you and put it into what you're doing. And that is a 10. And see through the perfectly purple lens of your galactic destiny. <laughs> right? Take the purple lenses off and let's look at things clearly, right? And that's a five. We have memento more. There might not be a someday. Don't put things off for something. If you can do something now, do it now. Because we're not guaranteed a someday. We're just not. And so much of our lives is spent saying, someday, we'll get to that someday, we'll go there someday, we'll make that move someday, right? And some, sometimes we someday our life away. We just wait for a someday to come that never comes because we don't take action. And that is a six energy. Nope, excuse me, that's a ten. <laughs> 10 and a 6, big difference. <laughs> and last is your 11-year-old self. What would your 11-year-old self do or say about the situation you're in? What kind of action would they take? The thing with an 11-year-old is they're an adventurer. They're not afraid of anything. They'll do anything and excited and happy to be doing it. So what would your 11-year-old self think about things? Now I'm going to take the spirit animals. All right. What spirit animals? What can you tell us for this Libra season? bottom of our deck is antelope spirit life is speeding up and this is a two and well we know this time of year it always gets faster doesn't it back to school the holidays it always gets busier and that's a two okay i must have been holding that deck upside down because everything came out upside down Okay, we have Bobcat Spirit. Life is a mystery. That indeed it is. And choose to see it that way. Make an adventure. That's an eight. Turkey Spirit. Give with gratitude and grace, right? Nice. That's a seven. And we have Whale Spirit. Trust the great mystery. Trust the great mystery. And that is an 11. We have 66 with right, white raven spirit. Trust in the magic. This is a 12, and we're going to make that a 3. Cat spirit, claim your independence. And this is a 4. How, how can you claim your independence? We have Fox Spirit, think on your feet. You may need to think on your feet more, right? And trust yourself. Trust that you're going to say and do the right things, right? It can't be so planned all the time. 
and butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful and that's an 11. grasshopper spirit take a leap of faith <laughs> how are you going to take a leap of faith what can you do what is this leap of faith what are you going to do but it's here spirit saying go for it and canary spirit sing your own song right be uniquely you you don't need to copy anybody else be proud right wear that crown it's okay be uniquely you owl spirit you see clearly now right you're seeing clearly your eyes are wide open <laughs> Vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. And that is true, right? Nothing, any experience, anything you spend your time on, it's never wasted. You gain great life experience and wisdom from all you do in life. That's a nine. Electric eel spirit, bring your ideas to life. And this is a six. And Amadillo Spirit, set healthy boundaries. And this is a three, right? Make good, healthy boundaries for yourself. You need to have them. And don't be afraid to speak up and defend yourself and set those boundaries in your life. Okay, the last energy I'm going to pull on is my latest obsession with cards. And this is Guards of, Guides of the Hidden Realms. And these are angels that, and guides that work with you on hidden energies in our life. Helps us to see things clearer and understand better on the deeper level. Sometimes there's so many energies working subconsciously in us. Sometimes it's hard to put words to them or bring them to the surface without a little bit of help from some unknown entities, right, from our guides. Okay, bottom of the deck is listening to the ancestors. And this is a four energy. I'll take the book out here in case I need it. So we have a four energy here. Um, inherited patterns, tradition, integrated wisdom versus knowledge. So... You can have all the knowledge you want um, from a book, right? But until you, you know, you can go to college, you get that knowledge. But until you have the real world experience of doing the thing you went for college for and develop that wisdom, really it's the wisdom with the knowledge that is the, um, you, that's your power. That's when you can really speak to something when you have the wisdom associated with the knowledge and inherited patterns and traditions well just like that dna that's been passed down that encoded dna when we're born that we get through our our upbringing right we we do these traditions we have these values we have things that are inherited patterns in us that Sometimes we need to heal from them. Sometimes they're not right. Sometimes they get outdated and they're not practical anymore. Um, sometimes we grow out of them, you know, and there can be all sorts of inherited patterns in our lives. And um, we have a responsibility in each generation to kind of stop some of those inherited patterns and traditions that maybe aren't the healthiest. So that might be a place a guide is helping you with right now. And this is a four. We have self-expression, protection, authentic self, the masks we wear. Right? And having self-expression. And masks do protect us at some point 
We might wear a mask at work, a mask when we're at home, a mask when we're with friends, right? And we might shift through different masks in our life. And those are all self-defense mechanisms that we put in place. It's when we wear a mask and we go so far away from our authentic self where we don't see people, um, we don't let people see us be vulnerable or be weak, right? To see us cry or anything like that, that we, we come off in a different energy than what we truly are. And I think, you know, as a people, as a collective, we're starting to realize that sometimes we're wearing a mask when we don't need to. And that's something that can be an inherited pattern too, you know, um, and spirit saying, look, be your authentic self. You don't want need to worry about wearing a mask of any kind. And you may have somebody in your life where their mask is starting to fall away. And maybe you're getting a peek at their authentic self and you're like, hmm, I don't know if that authentic self is for me anymore. Maybe you're seeing something in them and you're like, oh, wow, this is not who you showed me to be at all. So we have to be careful of energies like that. And this is a six. We have another chance to be. Hmm. I don't think we've seen this before. Re reclamation, second chances, rebirth, emotional healing. Another chance to be. And this is a nine. So maybe you've gone through a real rebirth. Maybe you've been through a lot of emotional healing. And maybe you're on like a second chance in life. I'm going to give this another try. I'm going to put more effort in. I'm going to be aligned with what I'm doing, with my soul's purpose, with my true north. I'm going to partner with spirit on this work with the universe and co-create in my life. And um, you're reclaiming yourself in this rebirth, this beautiful transformation, this butterfly, the uncocoon, the cocooning of, you know, you've it's opened and you've emerged as the butterfly now. And you're reclaiming your life. You're here for a second chance. And a real emotional healing. It's kind of a beautiful energy. And this ally is helping you the whole way here. And that's a nine. Next we have letting go of stories. And this is a seven. Surrendering attachments. Releasing unconscious patterns, right? The things we do, the patterns... The steps we take, the actions we take, because we think it's the right way. It's the way our parents told us to do something. The way our family has insisted on something. But there's lots of different ways to do something. Sometimes it's so unconscious we don't even realize it. And we're letting go of attachments that aren't good for us anymore. We're releasing them. Maybe at one time they would were good for us, but something wants to leave your life, willingly let it go. <laughs> if it doesn't want to be with you, why would you want to be with it? Right, whatever it is. So let go of attachments in our life. And that's a seven. And our last energy is grace within the chaos, right? Accepting life cons complexities. The seduction of distraction, right? Two energies there that are very complex, right? Um, to be the calm and the chaos. Um, sometimes um, you can be in a complex situation. And this past weekend I had a complex situation pop up on me, unexpected. And I'm sure that happens to you sometimes. I get caught in chaotic situations and I have to be the peace in the chaos. And this is an energy that affects all of us one time or another. And through my experience, you know, before I would want to get involved in it, try to uh, be the negotiator, the, me the mediator, and all those kinds of things. And now I just try to be the peace in it, the calm in it, 
the patience in it. I don't try to fix or heal anybody anymore because that's an inside job. You can't fix somebody else. You can't heal somebody else. You can offer advice and assistance, but all those things are inside jobs. And sometimes the only thing we can be is the peace. Because when you are peaceful, it deactivates other energies around you. Like you don't need to always add your two cents into something. The situations do exhaust themselves. They burn out on their own. And then, um, you know, the seduction of a distraction and sometimes they are distracting, right? They, they take you off your game. They take you off your purpose, off your focus. It's a real distraction if you let it be, right? But um, being consciously aware that that sometimes can be a tactic, you know, you can divert that, make another plan, go around it in some way. And anyways, spirit is here with you, and they're trying to work with you to help you to develop this grace within the the um, chaos, being the forgiven person, not carrying on resentments and things like that, just letting it go, understanding that it's complex. <laughs> it's complex, especially when you're dealing with um, mental health issues. It can sometimes be very confusing and hard to deal with. And that's an eight. Okay. All right, so um, I'm going to review some of the energies here today. This is a big reading, so I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to go through the more substantial ones. So for we have three, four, seven, and nine that are our big energies today with 11, okay? So I'm going to start with three. This animals and companionship, real um, spirit, animal energy here I'm feeling. Clean it up, right? Thinking, your spaces. This is more internal energy, though. Make space for new things in your life. I, you're poised and ready. And a change is coming in here. Trust the magic in it all, okay? And you're going to have to take a leap of faith when it comes in. And be your own unique self. Sing your own song. Don't pay attention to everyone else. And set healthy boundaries, okay? Four energy. We have this solitary desert energy here. We have observer energy. More dry desert energy. Ask wonderfully and receive graciously. Put an ask out to your spiritual team. Say, hey, I need some help here. And a divine dragon energy and angel energy is working with you right now. And they want you to claim your independence, okay? You need to claim your independence. And right now you're listening to your ancestors and they're helping you with inherited patterns, traditions, and... They're helping to you to apply your wisdom to your knowledge to make the best conscious decisions you can for yourself. Um, I'm going to throw in a couple of other energies here. Five energies, marine life with richness. Stay in the here and now. Keep your compass, compass faced in true north. Always stay true north. To your soul, your destiny, and spirits always with you. And write into your reality. Write down what you want. Start writing. Start journaling. And take off those colored glasses and see through clearly. We have the energy of home. You're hard at work on something. Something is not for you. Um, bring your ideas to life and the masks we wear, right? Spirit's helping you to drop the masks in your life. Our huge seven energy here. 
mountains and clarity. You may be getting clarity on some big problems in your life. The moon and darkness and hidden energies around you. You're speaking your words. You're using your voice. You're putting your self-expression out into the universe. You're getting a leg up, getting some help from spirit or others around you. You're flowing with the energies. There's going to be a spark of something, a spark of genius that comes out of you and makes something happen. You have gone through a huge metamorphosis and you are the butterfly now. Give with grace and gratitude. Be grateful of, for everything in your life and give generously. You see clearly now, Spirit saying you get the bigger picture. You see it all now. And listening, letting go of stories. Surrendering attachments, releasing unconscious patterns, right? Letting go of things that just don't matter anymore. And our big nine energy here. Um, another chance to be, right? Second chance is this death and rebirth energy that's here. Realizing that nothing in your life has been a waste of your time. Breathe, do the breath work, connect into spirit. Treasure island, spirit bringing in some kind of surprise or help for you. This energy of home, maybe it's time to find a new home here. And you contain the entire universe encoded in your DNA. And there are no wrong turns, no matter what you decide, spirit will be with you. And think on your feet, you may be faced with a quick decision you're going to have to make. And be ready for it, okay? And then we had a pretty substantial 11 energy here today. We have butterfly spirit with transformation is beautiful. Whale spirit with trust the great mystery. What would your 11-year-old self do, right? They're brave and adventurous. You will only see the way by making the way one step at a time. You gotta heal that ouch, heal that pain in you, right? Let it go and heal it. And this great thinking energy that's around right now that you're doing. So um, in ace position, one position, we had the universe and expansion, right? So those were the bigger themes in the reading today, okay? So obviously you're on some kind of a path you're waiting for some kind of help or opportunity to arrive in your life. Like you, I feel like someone here really needs a leg up, some real help. So, and you're poised and ready to receive that help, I think. All right, spirit guides, what kind of higher level energy is going to be around the collective for Libra season? Anything else, Spirit? Bottom of the deck is inner peace. And this is spirit just saying, hey, let yourself come to a place of inner peace, right? Let yourself be peaceful. 
bring a calmness to the situation. We have thriving. Right now you're thriving in the current situation. You're making something happen. You're motivated. You're encouraged. You're embracing your spiritual energies. You're embracing a connection in your life. You're going closer and closer to what you want in your life. You're embracing all the possibilities. You're letting life be delightful. You're enjoying every minute of your life. And that's what the universe, our spirit energies want for us, for us to enjoy our life. You're healing chaos in your life. You're learning how to be the peace in the chaos. You are on a spiritual journey here. You're on a voyage. And this is a long journey. It's not, all right, I'm done. <laughs> it takes time. It takes a lot of time. You know, trust there is a divine plan for you. Trust that spirit in the universe has your back and they're working hard for you. We have relaxation. Spirit saying, will you please relax and stop worrying? Everything is well. Everything is going to work out better than you could have imagined. Okay. Happiness and joy coming in. Potential. You have great potential to succeed in life, to be a success, to have everything you wanted. Wonders. There are magical, wondrous things that happen each and every day. Keep your eye open for them. Keep your focus on what you want. Stay determined. Stay patient, right? Rome wasn't built in a day. And flexible, right? Be flexible. Don't be rigid thinking. Be open, right? And adventures. Consider this an adventure. Enjoy. Enjoy the path. Enjoy the mystery. Safety and security is coming in here for you. If your stability is a worry, it's coming in. Yeah, you're on the verge of great success here. And a new beginning. Wow. Exciting, huh? Very exciting here today, this angel reading. Uh, the last one I did was kind of tough. It was a heavier energy. So I think here in Libra season, we're going to see some things turn around. If you've been on a path, if you've taken a risk and go out, gone out on your own or on some kind of path like that, I think you're going to, it's going to turn the corner now. The energy is going to free up and you're going to be able to succeed. The success is really going to start coming in for you. So make the space for it. Make the room for it in your life, okay? Clean up your spaces. Get more organized, okay? Because once it starts, boom, it's like an explosion, right? And life is never the same after that. Okay, it's exciting. All right, sending love and light to all. I hope you have a wonderful Libra season. And again, happy birthday to Pam and Cam. <laughs> love you guys. Bye-bye.